How you doing, Brian King, UK Flooring TV? Uh, today I'm up in Newcastle. Uh, I've uh, come on start with uh, Danny Latimer. Danny, how's it going? Good, doing well. Yeah. Uh, Danny, um, let's kick off. Um, I noticed you about like, two years ago uh, uh, pop up on the old like, social media groups. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you was like asking questions. I don't know, showing him how keen you are. Yeah. Uh, now a couple of years on. You're like kind of in the mix of it now. People are asking you for advice, and and uh, you, you know what I mean. You've come on leaps and bounds. Uh, what what was your intentions in the flooring industry? Well, I've, I've always enjoyed it since I started. Um, I've always wanted to be as good as I could be and see where it would take us. Uh, more so when my partner got pregnant, that's when I decided to step it up and try and become better than than I was. You know. Of responsibilities now. Yeah, you know. yeah, and obviously trying to earn a bit more money, bills and stuff. Um, so that's when I took it serious. But when, as soon as I came across the social media sites, I seen people's work, and I was amazed by it. And I was thinking, wow, I want to get involved in that. And um, I started training stuff like that. These social media groups. What are your views on those? You know, there's good ones, there's bad ones. Yeah. You know. You pick, pick some good things out of them, some good work, you see, um, pick a few points off stuff, see p people's prep and all that, that's early days when I started changing my ways. Um, some bad points of it, like people calling each other and stuff, but it's just... I, th I think the good overruled the bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we all learn stuff off them, I have uh, learned stuff. And it's probably how I've gotten where I am, yeah. like, like seeing other people's work and want to become better so I've been on site been stuck on something put it on social media and within a second you've got the answer uh, you get a few dodgy answers as well <laughs> yeah. who do you work for Danny and uh, who do you work for at present uh, at present I work for MEH Flooring Centre in Newcastle what what sort of stuff do they do is it across the board or just certain things a, a lot of high-end stuff um, it, it gives us the opportunity to do more like sizal and Roger Oates Stuff like that, stuff I've always wanted to learn. Um, but we do, we do normal stuff as well. Pretty nice work. I've just noticed you've been on the uh, Roger Oates Flat Weave course. Yeah. Uh, how did that come about? Because I know, I think I tried a few years ago to get on there and it's quite hard to get on. Uh, well, the, the MEH sell the product, um, so they pushed me to get onto it. And I, I think you can only do it if the company you work for uh, sells it. So. What was it like? It's good. Learn a lot. Ah, uh, yeah, very informative. Um, is it as hard as it looks? Uh, probably not. Wait, unless it, unless you like stitching everything yourself. Yeah. Um, I would imagine that's hard, but it's a, a lot of it's hidden behind the prep stuff yeah. like that. So it was good, really good. I've also noticed recently you've been over at Fitter doing the uh, Naturals course. What yeah. was that like? Great, really enjoyed it. Um, took a lot into it. Uh, in from it and then um, started doing sizing, done a few jobs already so I, I've noticed you're doing quite a few already uh, I've got a few more booked up so right. I'm looking forward to it What other courses have you been on Danny? I've done floor skills LVT level 1 which I really enjoyed um, give us the skills to do my own still haven't ventured out to do uh, any work away from my own house like, but um, I think my comfort's just caught with and I've done Floor skills level one and level two, carpet, and I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, that that really learnt me from what I knew, a few different things to higher end, uh, mainly in prep and stuff like that. Obviously, it was soon pulling those stuff I wanted to learn. It goes to show the training, doesn't it? You notice straight away oh, when somebody's been on any any sort of training. I would, uh, I, I would advise anyone, anyone who's passionate about the game, to to train. Uh, any more courses you planning on? <laughs> or have you done them all? <laughs> no, um, ideally I'd like to do all them, but money, kids and stuff like that, you, you kind of just jump with everything. But It takes a lot of time up as well, doesn't it? Uh, Especially like the four or five day courses. I, I mean, over the next few years I plan on just doing anything I can to keep learning. What are your views on training? Because obviously it's work for you. Yeah, I love it. Um, I know. Other people don't feel the same, I don't know why, but 
I think once you once you do it, you get the pull for it. Mixed views in it on training. I, I've come across people where where they've got like call training and then they've been on the training course and they've changed the change yeah. manager. Yeah. It's it's good, I, I, I it's it's really progressed me as a fitter, so I can only say good things. Uh, what do you prefer to fit? What's uh, what's your passion in touring? Just call it. Okay. Call, call, call it, but now I'm doing a lot more uh, fancy up patterns and stuff. I'm doing a lot of stair runners. I do enjoy the flat weave. No, I've done a couple. Do you uh, prefer the challenge now? I and I, I like getting a nice photo at the end. Uh, I like knowing that I've done a good job and that, that, that keeps me happy. Uh, any advice for anybody coming into the trade? What would you advise the, the, the um, you two years ago? Two years ago, uh, I don't know. Just just try your best if you if you really enjoy it. Keep pushing. I think it's the the path you take in it in this yeah. game. You can just settle for for where you are. Or you try and get better. And it just depends, you know. It's just what you're happy with. I want to be the best I can be. So fair play, fair play to you. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the industry at present? Um, anything you think could be changed? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really I really don't know much about. I just fit. <laughs> yeah, just you know, so head down, ass up, yeah. all day. Uh, Gary, how did you get into the, the the game? How did you get into flooring? Well, I, I left school. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I'm yet to meet somebody what says they wanted to get into flooring. <laughs> there are not many, I bet. <laughs> uh, I just fell into it. Um, I was in a uh, like a training placement for Gordon, and a guy came in asking if anyone wanted to work under him. Is an apprentice, and he was a domestic carpet fitter. So I worked for him for ten years. Right. I enjoyed it. Um, really enjoyed it. You know, good good friends. Uh, and then when, like I said, when my partner got pregnant, that's when I thought, right, now yeah. I need I need to really start up my game, make some more money. Um, I came across an opportunity to work with Carpetage right. you know, on the ships and um, down Plymouth. Uh, and it was more so when I met them. Then I realised all these platforms on social media, uh, the different types of work. I didn't even know what LBT was, do you know what I mean? Um, and it was ever since that, I've I seen a lot of work and I just wanted to do that. It's where I want to be. I've done the shit work, it's hard work, isn't it? It is, I it's, It sounds good, but it's not. It, it's hard work, but it, it's, a, it's a lot of nice colours and, you know, it, it's different from the grey. So, yeah. I enjoyed it. Danny, lastly, um, What's for the future? Uh, and where do you see yourself in say, five years? It's early days. Um, I just my plan is to keep training, keep learning, and just see where. I'm going. Hopefully, somewhere good. But um, not tempted to uh, enter any of the competitions. Yeah, not yet. Though. Just by the time. Time, time yet. You know, I mean, I went down to Harrogate to see to see some of the work on the on the court with it. Like, yeah, and it's amazing. Good in it. It's good to see. Um, very, very skilled guys. So may, maybe you want to look out for. Aye, yeah. But anyway, Danny, I take my hat off to you what what you've done, and uh, I know you're busy. Thanks for giving us five minutes, and yeah. good luck. No problem. Cheers. Cheers.